back to my channel so today i'll be working with another amazon vendor all the details will be down below this is an ombre synthetic wig 26 inches long i love the color on this wig it has a small amount of lace in the front that you cut off a couple of um combs and an adjustable strap right, so this is the initial look at the wig on my head this is the coloring this is definitely a high quality synthetic wig when I say high quality, I mean like there's not much tangling. As you guys can see, I can comb right through it and the waves bounce right back. You guys don't have to comb through it, but I usually do just to get any um, pre-existing shedding out. So this is the color variation. Okay, so it's an ombre wig. Um, I always love ombre. That's like probably my favorite, favorite um, hair trend of them all. I've been doing that for so long and it's never gone out of style. So as you guys can see, it has like a scalp right there. And if you guys want it to, you can open it up more. And it has a piece of lace right here that I am gonna, it does have a comb right here, a comb right here, none in the back, but it does fit on my head really good. It was definitely, it would definitely be big head friendly. I do like the length of this. I'm gonna put the length, the specs, everything down below that you guys need to see. And I'm just gonna cut the lace, making sure I don't cut my hair or anything like that. You guys can leave a little bit of lace, choose to, but I did not. I might just do some baby hairs in the front, but I am probably going to shift the wig over to the side because I don't really do middle part. My forehead is just way too big. So I used to do middle part all the time, like back in high school, but that was with my real hair. My forehead was probably smaller back then. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to shift the wig over. I do have my wig grip under here. So you can shift it to either side. I don't want to put the part too far over. I have like an adjustable strap as well. So that's how we're looking with the wig shifted. I'm just going to take out some of my hair. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just doing that to make it look a little bit more natural. I do like the parting space. At first, I didn't like it. It looked like a little bit of a Halloweenish type wig. But then I started looking more and I was like, okay, not that bad. So I'm going to take this, my usual that's how you guys that I use because I don't really like using all of that hard gel on my edges and I'm just gonna simply swoop some edges down just to make it look a little bit more better um, go check out my other videos um I did I just did a synthetic headband wig as well as I have a bunch of different um synthetic wig videos on my channel all of those out don't forget about that don't be sleeping on my videos guys <laughs> Put a lot of hard work into them. So yeah, that's how the baby hair swoop is looking. I know it's like a little bit of a demarcation right here. But like I said, you guys can open up the parting space. I don't know if I am going to do that because sometimes I open it up and I'm just, I open it up too much. And then I'm like, you can't go back. So yeah, I'm getting a little bit of shutting here and there. But that's to be expected. That's why I always comb out these wigs before I get started. And like I said, you can shift the parts to the middle part. So this is the shutting right here. You can do a middle part, a side part, and you can do the opposite of what I have it now. So I just pulled my hair out. You can also use the, um, the wig baby hairs if you want. You don't have to use your baby hairs. So that's how we're looking. Um, let me show you guys the length. So that's everything to the front area. And you guys know my height, five foot two. Let me show you guys everything to the back. So that's how the back, that hump is my hair. That's how the back is looking. I've not done a wig like this in a long time. Interesting. Feels really different. I do like the color a lot, actually, to be honest. I really do like the color. wig i want you guys to see the um up close part that i was talking about so that's the little scalp area you can open up more you can put a little bit of a dark marker up there whatever you need to do or you can use eyeshadow or just pull it up more to the front um so that shouldn't really bother you 
but yeah for the most part i do like this wig you do not have to um keep combing through it this is definitely one of those high quality synthetic wigs that i've been talking about i have gotten a few of those so i do know how to recognize the high quality from the not so high quality so yeah that's how we're looking let me turn around so you guys can see the curls back and the length up definitely if you guys take care of it the way that you're supposed to and stuff wash it when you have to and everything you probably could also make this into a headband wig you know me i have band wigs but yeah you don't have to have your edges out in the front um this is everything to the front area you can even use the wig edges you can cut them i usually do use the wig edges but at the moment i have mine's out so i need to for fall absolutely amazing for fall thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.